Let's talk about how to obfuscate your hard working app. You take a huge amount of time working on Android project. You definitely don't want someone else easily reverse engineer your app. So this tutorial will show you following tactics. Using these tactics does not mean your app won't be able to reverse engineer, but it will largely increase the complexity to do that. I will try to use APK Tool and JADX to reverse engineer the demo project. You can download both tools from their GitHub repository. Since I already have GRE installed on my computer, so I will choose the no GRE version. Let's create a project. Just call it demo. It takes some time to finish the build. Okay, the build is finished. Let's generate a side APK. I will choose my existing key. The next and finish. Let's open the generated APK in JADX. Come example.demo and main activity. We can make a side-by-side -side comparison between the code generated by JADX and the original source code. They are identical. Let's set up the program to obfuscate the source code. Minifying able should be true. We also need shrink resources. It's also set to be true. Let's sync the grader. To better show you the difference after using ProGuard, I'm going to create a screen utility class. I will copy paste the code from a previous project. Now I will call these two screen methods from the onQuery method. Let's generate the side APK again. In JADX, you already see the code structure has been changed. Since two methods from screen utility class only be called one time, the program moved the logic to the anchor method. Let's set up some rules in ProGuardRules.pro. You can improve the obfuscation in variable, class, and package name by using a dictionary. You can check the dictionary I used. The link is on the center of the screen. This dictionary I think is by far one of the best dictionary I found on the internet. To further decrease the readability of your source code, you can also use merge interface aggressively and overload aggressively. You can repackage all your classes to the same directory. Now let's generate the side APK again. Under the example.demo, you will see all classes will be packaged to this directory. Because we use the dictionary, the class name and method name will have no practical meanings. If you want to know other usage of ProGuard, you can check the ProGuard menu. ProGuard cannot obfuscate resources files. If you want to do that, then you need to use a third-party grader plugin called AndresGuard. Let's configure the AndresGuard. First, you need to add a class path to the builder grader. I just copy paste from README and sync the project. Then I need to apply the Andrescar plugin in the module grader. And sync again. You need to copy and paste 
everything from here to here. If you want to upload your app to Google Play, please make sure you use 7-zip equal to false. Unsync. Now you should see unrescored grid of task. The last step will be you need to config your signing configs. This is very important because Andreska needs these configs to sign up your APK while building. Then you add signing configs to build types. And sync. Finally, let's use Andreska to build the app. I'm going to find the APK in Explorer. Let's compare the APK built by Andreas Card and the original version in JADX. As you can see, Andreas Card successfully obfuscates the resources files. Andreas Card can also protect your APK hacked by APK tool. Let's try to decompile the APK. Something looks not correct. Okay, let's try to convert it back. Oops, we can't recompile. Thanks for watching.